Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm OIK Swedish Whiskey Girl and I just spilled Klein Leash all over myself. Uh, <laughs> as you've probably already seen. So um, yes, I smell lovely uh, like whiskey at the moment. But we are today of course going to try Klein Leash 14, which is a distillery up in the Highlands here in Scotland owned by Diageo. And the company itself describes Klein Leash as more of a a style of whiskey that's more similar to an island malt than an highland malt. If you want to kind of have a look at different regions in Scotland, um, you can of course find all different types and flavour categories of whiskies in the different regions, but they tend to have like the highlands tend to be a bit more floral sometimes, and the islands tend to be a little bit more that kind of smoky esque. Islands is of course not its own official region, but for example, an island like Isla because it has a lot of historic distilleries on it, has its own region, and they tend to be a little bit smokier, of course. And Klein Leash tends to have a bit of a cult following sometimes. I know there's a lot of people that like it because it tends to have a bit of a waxy, like aroma profile <laughs> to it. But let's have a little look on the nose. Oh, and before I forget, Klein Leash means an isolated meadowland, I think, in Gaelic. Hmm, it does have this really interesting nose. It smells a bit like a, a scented candle. If, if the scent of the candle was like Scotland. <laughs> it's a bit floral, it's slightly fruity. has a bit of an earthiness to it as well. But quite elegant and... Yeah, it's like a mixture between that kind of earthiness and the floral influence. But yeah, like a, a scented candle if that candle had those aromas. Quite a nice denseness to it and a little bit of sweetness as well. Like a floral honey sweetness. But of course let's have a little taste, Slangina. Definitely has a waxiness to it. That waxiness is, has a very interesting texture because the waxiness is both there on the flavour but also on the mouthfeel and it leaves this kind of, it's like a dry but coated feeling on the finish as if you would, I can imagine if you like chewed on wax that's what it would leave in your mouth. Hmm. Yeah, like a fruity scented candle with a bit of floral influence. That's what it's like on the palate as well. I wouldn't say there's much difference between the nose and the palate. Sometimes you feel like you get more sweetness on the nose, but I still think the sweetness is there on the palate. That kind of honey sweetness that goes alongside the floral notes. And this 14 year old sits at 46% ABV, but it's still very smooth and very welcoming and easy going. A little bit more earthy on the nose now. And of course, this Klein Leash here, alongside Cardu, Colila, Johnny Walker and Glen Kinshi, is part of a set that if you live in Edinburgh, you can buy a takeaway flight from The Devil's Advocate. Um, and thank you to Diageo and Johnny Walker and of course The Devil's Advocate for sending me a set. It's been lovely to rediscover these whiskies that I haven't had in such a long time. Almost a bit like citrus sweets with floral notes on the nose now. They're quite citrusy. Hmm. Yeah, but citrus sweets, like when you open a bag of citrus hard candies and you get that initial scent of it. A little bit grassy as well. I wouldn't see that much citrus on the palate. A more different kind of fruitiness, like fresher fruits. Hmm. I mean... I better like these aromas since I'm now covered in them and 
<laughs> I'm about to go into town and smell like this. So I mean, it's a lovely nose. So I'll I'm happy. I'll happily smell like this. Um, I just hope other people appreciate it and not think that I've been drinking four drams um, before twelve o'clock, which I might have done today. Hmm. Very elegant still in its aromas. It's um. Yeah, I can see, I can definitely see why people are very drawn to this specific one. And I must admit, this has been a, one of those whiskies that I could count on one hand that I wouldn't generally order in a bar because I haven't been so keen on that waxiness before. But it's the same with the sulfuric notes. And I recently retried Glen Kinchy, which I would also count on that amongst those five that I wouldn't order in a bar and of course Craig Ellicky which I now absolutely adore and this is another one it's uh, changed my mind I think it's um it's a lovely way to experience your whiskey evolution you go from not liking something and then you try it and then you just fall in love with it which is absolutely lovely I also saw online that they recommended serving Klein Leash 14 with salmon and I just thinking about that Makes me salivate. That sounds so, so nice. I definitely have to try that sometime. Just get some, some nice little, maybe sushi even. Sushi and Klang Leash. Sounds very nice. But I would of course love to hear if you are a big fan of Klein Leash 14 or perhaps you tried another Klein Leash. Please put your comments in the section below. I love hearing your thoughts. And of course, if you like what I'm doing here on YouTube and my other social channels, I would be absolutely thrilled if you would consider using my affiliate links with Master of Malt, the Whiskey Exchange or the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society the next time you're shopping with them. All of that information is of course in the little section here below, as well as links to my website, my Patreon, my Teespring shop and my Instagram if you're curious about that. As always, a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon, your support means so much to me. I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. Slange va. Skål.